An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow on the toddler killed after a fire ripped through his home today. Neighbors tell us everyone tried to get that little boy out, but the smoke and the flames were just too much. One man told us what he tried to do to help and what stopped him. A somber scene outside this mobile home community in Rock Hill today. 14-month-old Joshua Hill was killed after a fire broke out inside the trailer where he lived. You can see the black residue left behind by the flames and smoke. You can also see insulation poking through damaged walls where either the fire tried to get out or rescuers tried to get in. Investigators took pictures, still trying to figure out what sparked the deadly blaze. We know it started around 8.30 a.m. An off-duty paramedic and a York County Sheriff's deputy were there in just a few minutes, but it was already too late. The lady sheriff, they had a chair they pulled up to the window, and she's trying, you know, to, to see or whatever, but she just kept getting hit by smoke. Neighbor Stephen Blackwelder also tried to rescue the toddler. I ran to the back and tried to get up steps, but that was just too much smoke. I've never felt so helpless in my life. I mean, no one that child was in that bedroom. Blackwelder says the little boy was home with his 17 year old brother while their parents were at work. He says the teen was frantic. We all tried to do something, and, and like I say, it was just nothing we could do. Uh, I've never felt so helpless. Debbie Steele lives nearby too. She's a mother of four. It grieves me to think of the heart of a mother. She also grieves for the teen left to replay the fiery images in his mind and the first responders who did their best. I'm very thankful that they're willing to, to do that job. The state law enforcement division, the York County Sheriff's Office, and the coroner's office are investigating.